Good morning, Beach Bums. We are back on the boat. It is a beautiful morning. Check that out. Gorgeous sunrise. I'm headed out today in hopes of trying to get on some trout, possibly redfish. Uh, I'm rigged up. I got a big popper on in case some Jack Cravel come around. I'm gonna be inshore today, not going to the Gulf side just because it's, it's extremely rough right now. So trying to avoid that but this is this is new to me so like i'm not uh, i'm not out here to try to tell you what to do i'm out here just to have a good time and see if i can catch some fish so <laughs> we'll see if i can find a fish or two while i'm out here on the boat but very thankful and grateful that i have the opportunity to, to use this boat uh it's 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 really neat having access to the water and being able to get out here and still fish and try to make some videos so i'm very grateful for that so We'll see if we can get some fish, but uh, beautiful morning, beautiful weather. We just had a storm come through last night, but the winds have died down this morning, so I'm looking forward to it. Starting out this morning with the little Miradine Twitch bait. I, I can't remember what size it is. They got a few different sizes, but we're just gonna float along. I don't have a trolling motor, but we're just gonna float here and work this bait. I'm over a reef. Since I'm new at this, I am going to also, I think, I've got some live shrimp. I think I'm going to float one out while I'm working this lure just to see, you know, cover our bases. Normally wouldn't want to do this, wouldn't want to throw out a rod while I'm busy, but we'll just see. We're going to hook this, this guy, I hook it sometimes in the head, sometimes in the tail. I'm just going to hook him through that little second section that he's got behind his tail. And just gonna let him drift around out here. Dang it. Crap. First fish of the day. Pulled loose. Dang it. That was that was our first bite on the shrimp. Good hit. Oh man. So I'm trying to you know figure out what's going on out here. This is this is new to me. But missed a fish there. That that stinks. Looked looked like a decent fish hit it pretty good. I, I've got a circle hook. I was using a J hook, but I did put a circle hook on there uh, with that shrimp since I'm not holding it, hoping that it would hook themselves. And I'm just free lining that shrimp, just 17 pound fluorocarbon and uh, missed our first fish of the day that looked pretty decent. So that's, that's disappointing. So we've got this artificial reef and what I'm doing is I'm just positioning myself based on the, the wind and the current. It took me a couple of times to kind of figure out exactly what direction I would be drifting. So now I'm, I'm starting uh, where I feel like is a good starting point and I'm just drifting across this artificial reef, which I, I might need to fix my shrimp here because it might get hung up on this pole. I'll kind of cut across at an angle the whole, the whole reef. So it allows me to work, a cover a lot of water. Uh, got this tip from from Dusty Hayes, he, he was telling me how to properly do this because I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, so far no fish, but I did get that one good hit that uh, was probably a decent fish, but just missed it. We're gonna move this up to the front here. <laughs> I don't have a rod holder. So we'll just have to work with it like that, but get trying to get to that rod back there is not uh not working so we're gonna try that we're gonna try it right there and that way i'm at least closer to it so if another fish hits i can try to get to it a little sooner oh oh i was not even looking one came up right there I turned around. Ah, oh, missed him. All right, at least we're getting some activity here. Missing fish, but 
Come on. There we go. Just got him. No. No. Freaking way. What the heck? I guess he ate the tail. I had him hooked in the head. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. All right, we're hooking him in the tail. <sighs> Frustrating so far. Missing a lot of fish. I thought I had that one. It felt like that one was on there. That's four fish in a row. Oh, one just swiped at it. Oh my gosh. I just watched it swipe at it right there. He. Uh, I've got a J hook on this shrimp now, and I'm gonna hold on to the shrimp and quit throwing this lure for just a little bit because, uh, I mean, I'm getting strikes. I've, I've missed two strikes on this one, on the lure, but most of the fish are coming on the shrimp. Golly, man, that last hit about took my rod in the water. <laughs> That's that's five fish in a row now that we've missed. This is insane. All right, I guess we just need to focus because I think that's uh, I think that's what's killing us here is just the lack of focus. We got a fish. Let's see what we got. It's a speckler. He's a little guy. <laughs> but first speckled trout of the morning good gracious first fish of the morning i don't think he's legal yeah no he's short they gotta be 15 now he's about 13 and a half so we're gonna let him go see you dude first fish of the freaking morning holy cow I've made a move, I'm at another reef, and I've put out two rods. I've got one rod out with a shrimp free line, and then I've got one out on bottom with a Carolina rig, just like a quarter ounce, or I don't think it's a half ounce, like quarter ounce, a little egg weight on it just to get to the bottom. And uh, just gonna see what uh, what's hanging around here, just taking it easy, not drifting, I'm, I'm anchored up. Didn't see any jacks, I rode around the pass for a minute, and the water was extremely dirty uh, because of all that rough surf that we've had. Uh, the last day or so from that last storm it's just really got that water really dingy in there so just trying something different and uh hopefully we'll find some fish had a frustrating morning so far missing uh missing a lot of good fish this morning so hopefully i can redeem myself here there we go finally hooked up dang what do we got Let's see what it is. Oh, that might have been a trout. What? I don't even know what to do at this point. Like I've used circles on the circle hooks. I've used J hooks. I've gone up a little bit in hook size because I had a smaller hook on. Just, just a, just a weird day. Like why, why the crap am I not hooking these fish? And what sucks, what I've noticed, and I don't know. What the deal is here every one of these fish has swam towards the boat okay that had to be a blue fish no the hook just pulled man i don't know what the crap is going on here oh these hooks are not that bad oh my gosh Something these fish have been doing, I was trying to say earlier when, when I hooked that last fish, they've all been hitting and swimming towards the boat. So like, I'm, I'm, I think that's part of the reason I keep losing so many. 
I don't know what the deal is. Like, I don't know why. I mean, they're hitting and, and flying to the boat. I, I, I can't, uh, I haven't been able to catch up to them. Might have finally caught a fish. Good gracious. Little speck. Oh, there he goes. Fell right off. <laughs> I mean, he was too small anyway, but that just, that's the story of the day, man. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on. I don't understand. I was reeling this in and a fish came up and smacked it. I can't, oh, it's a blue. Oh yeah, there. that's a blue fish. I'm surprised he's still on here. Oh yeah, that's a blue. There we go. Finally caught one of these dadgum blue fish. Oh my gosh. They have been, uh, they've been tormenting me all day bluefish are hard fighters uh they're pretty decent to eat he's a little small i'm gonna let this guy go and uh, considering it's uh like the only fish that i've got that would be going in the cooler i'm gonna get him back but uh it feels good to catch a dad go fish holy cow it's been a tough day see dude golly oh this is a big hit big fish this is on my free line shrimp i don't know what the heck this is oh gosh there it goes there it goes I wonder if it's a red or something i don't know it might be a red hope he doesn't get caught in my anchor rope This is awesome. Could be a decent fish. Uh, is it a black, black drum? Maybe it's a black drum. Can't tell. Big old sail cat. Holy crap. Big sail cat. Oh my gosh. Monster sail cat. Look at that guy. Holy cow. I caught some in the canal the other day and they were not this big. All right, I'm gonna see if I can just uh, unhook him. Leave him in the water. Check that guy out, man. That is a, that is a big cell cat. Wow. All right, let's see if we can just get him unhooked here. There he goes. Whew, I was trying not to bring him on board trying to avoid the slime all over the boat well that was fun man i was hoping it was gonna be like a red or black drum or something oh good gracious i think i'm gonna call it a day there a little frustrating that i missed as many fish as i did today but it was a learning opportunity i think i could come out here and do better uh, understanding that drifting and, and free lining these live shrimp over these artificial reefs and how effective that can be and maybe the best way to do that like maybe focusing more on that versus getting distracted with other things and multiple rods so i'll definitely have to come out here and try that again and maybe be a little more effective uh, because missed a lot of fish had a lot of opportunities could have been a really stellar day like we were close to having like a really awesome day out here but uh just you know it's just me learning like this is my first time ever doing this ever period and i'm by myself out here trying to learn and be and be effective doing it so we'll learn together we'll have fun this uh this was a good day all in all <laughs> and uh had a good time but thanks so much for watching and as always you stay bummy